Now to make leaves drag a plane in the viewport, segments are very high, so uh, lower down to 4x4, press M to open the material editor and in a, a diffuse channel pick the texture of a leaf. You may see the leaf texture in the viewport and in the opacity channel pick the alpha map of the same leaf texture. You may see that the black part has become transparent. Give some more segments in the plane. We can use a bend modifier also to bend it a little bit in a certain axis. Collapse all and convert it into editable poly. Pick a vertex. Go to the soft selection mode, lower the value of fall off a bit and uh, not try to give the random shape to the leaf. Do some more adjustments. Now it looks like that the leaf is crunched. Now it's time to make a particle system. So drag the PF source icon uh, in the viewport. Keep its uh, direction towards the direction of the wind. Open the particle view and uh, delete speed. Delete the rotation also. Drag a wind in the viewport. Add a force operator in the event and add this wind in the list. Adjust the length and width of the icon to spread the particles. Now start the emit from uh, minus 50 frames so that the particles should be in the scene from very beginning. Open the particle view again and delete the shape. Instead of it, bring shape instead. Pick the leaf, which is actually a plane 2. Turn the display as a geometry. Now you may see the bunch of leaf particles in the viewport. Put the spin uh, operator in the event, give some uh, variation, go to shape instance and uh, give some uh, variation in the scale parameter also. Yeah. Now it's time to render the leaves particles. Now it's time to render the particles separately. So hide everything except it. You may see now that there are only leaves remaining in the viewport. It's time to render the scene now. It's time to render these now. Again do same as we did for the flag. Make a new folder as uh, leaf particles. and save it as .tga format. Render the scene. Again it will take some time. After rendering all these things in 3ds Max, let's move towards After Effects. Import the flag image sequence and drag it to the comp. Do the same thing with leaf particles also. Put it beneath the flag layer. Import the background what I have uh, taken from the internet. Adjust it a bit 
and make all the layers as 3D. Now create a camera um, uh, and uh, go to the top view uh, to adjust the layers. Send the visual layer back to have a feeling of depth. And scale it up to maintain the view. Now uh, make a null object and uh, and make the camera as the child of the null. In this way, if you drag the null object in X position, you get the depth in the scene. Camera is moving. So at this point of time, give an initial keyframe. Until this point of time, travel the null object in X direction. Select both of the keyframes and uh, either press F9 or uh, manually you can give them easy ease value. So in this way the motion becomes smooth. By scaling up you can adjust the BG a bit. You can move it in the Y direction also to adjust it a bit. Yeah. It looks good. Now um, go to camera option and uh, make the depth of field option on. Adjust the blur level. Adjust the aperture also. Now at a particular point it will give you uh, Feed of depth of field. Now go to the beginning, adjust the aperture and focal distance also. Adjust them in such a way that the BG should be very clear in the beginning and the flag should look uh, blurred and out of focus. Now at this point of time, adjust the focal distance and aperture in such a way that the BG should look blurred and the flag should look very clear. Now, Select the leaf layer and apply the Gaussian blur effect. Increase the value of the Gaussian blur a bit. Uh, now you may uh, duplicate the leaf layer and put it above the flag layer. Now make a new solid layer and apply the effect of sapphire clouds. Adjust the frequency, check for the desired speed of the cloud by dragging the value of shift speed x. Once it is done, turn the blending mode of the layer to screen. Adjust the frequency for better look. Now, pick the pen tool and draw a garbage mask. Increase the feather of the mask. You may change the color uh, from default white to uh, the dust kind of color. and adjust some uh, 
points of the mask. You may lower down the opacity. Actually, it totally depends upon you that what kind of settings you prefer. For more better look, you can play with the color. Hence, uh, it gives the feel of dusty wind. Make an adjustment layer and you may give the uh, sapphire film effect onto it. Increase some grain amount. It looks good. Now duplicate the dust wind layer and uh, go to the top view and drag it towards the camera. In fact, increase the opacity value and give the random frequency um, and speed value to this layer. Now render the scene and check how does it look. It's pretty good. Now pre-compose this whole comp and uh, go to motion sketch. You can find it in window menu and go to the first frame. Click on a start capture and from the center of the layer Place your uh, mouse, place the button of your mouse and drag it randomly and keep it doing and don't release the button until the CTI comes to the last frame in the timeline. Once it is done, you will find that the layer is wiggling around. And when you will uh, render the scene, you will find a kind of camera shake feeling in the scene due to the stormy wind. Dear friends, again I'll tell you it all depends upon the values and options you will play with. So give it a try guys. I hope you have enjoyed the tute. Thanks to here and Beer Me. See you next time. Bye bye.